welcome to my channel. My name is Jess from Jess Insight. Today I have my lovely twin sister here with me Hello. doing a video. As you can tell from the title, we're doing relax versus natural pros and cons. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of natural hair and she's gonna be talking about my relaxed hair. Yes, <laughs> the pros and cons of that. So if you are wondering why her makeup is beat to the gods, look at this. Look in the cards. I'll be posting the link to uh, my little makeup where I gave her. So feel free to watch that and watch these hands bless her face. Otherwise, we're going to hop right into the video and continue on. And we're going to go jump right in. You ready? Ready. So Jen, do you want to explain how we're going to do this? Yes, so we're gonna talk about the pros and cons, like like she said before, of the relaxed and natural hair. Um, we'll do the pros first and then end with the cons. Exactly, so first off, I'm gonna be nat do the natural pro because it's my channel and I get to go first. Okay. <laughs> I get to go first, but if you notice us keep looking down, we're actually um, using our phones for reference. We both wrote our notes. Don't look at mine. <laughs> Mines are better. And okay. um, <laughs> basically um, we're just going off of the notes we took of our pros and cons. Pro I have is versatility. So mm -hmm. basically I could be whoever I want to be. I could be <laughs> Vanessa with my silk press and I could be Beyonce with my afro. <laughs> so I feel like there's a huge, huge versatility with natural hair. You can really manipulate it to what you want it to be uh, and look like anything you want to look like. There's no kind of barrier there. It could be anything and whoever you want to look like. So I think natural hair is very, very versatile. What about you? Okay, I'm not gonna like you know, disagree on that one <laughs> because yes, it's true. What I would say is that it definitely takes me 10 minutes to get ready in the morning. How do you feel about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Literally takes me less than 10 minutes to just whoop up my hair and start my day. How long does it take you to get your hair done? Uh, we're gonna get there. <laughs> okay. Please don't dig at me already. <laughs> like she's trying to fight. She really trying to fight right now. Second pro that mm -hmm. I have for natural hair is thicker hair. So something that I had when I was relaxed hair was these fine strands that you look like you could poof, poof, poof and blow through. You could just see through your hair. Like it was see through hair and I never had a full thick head of hair. So I think that this is the biggest pro with having natural hair is having thick, luscious <laughs> hair. With a little bit of shade, I felt that one. <laughs> Okay, me, what I also like to say for a pro for relaxed hair is mm, my bank isn't breaking. Whenever I purchase products, it is less expensive to be relaxed. Okay, unlike naturals who, how long does it take you to find a product that works for your hair? Mm, forever. So that's definitely a pro for relaxed hair. Ugh. Are you done? Uh, are, you, are, you, are you done? I just literally take maybe like two simple products, a hair moisturizer and oil and just slap it on. Sorry, did you guys hear that haterade over there? Mm -hmm. Haterade? Yep. Uh, a pro for me with being natural, my third pro is length. This sounds a little bit weird, but length is a pro for me because I feel like I can keep my true length being natural mm -hmm. i feel like relaxed hair is just known for breaking off like every other day that you're just walking around with your hair falling off pieces, <laughs> <laughs> no, <she's not. laughs> pieces everywhere and so basically i think that naturals have a true length to them pro for relaxed hair is i think that we do have healthy hair when it is maintained okay asterisk on the when it's maintained. If you're going regularly to salon or doing your hair, then you have natural, relaxed, naturally relaxed, healthy hair. I think the biggest stigma is, is that people expect their straight hair and then just leave it like that. And then what else happens? Falls off. <laughs> <laughs> literally falls off. Literally and falls I, off. Honestly, no shade to her. Like that's what happened to me. Like literally, I was not taking care of my relaxed hair, and it was falling off, which is why this natural route has been ten times better than me ever having relaxed hair. Okay, I understand that, but doesn't mean I'm on team relax. 
Team Natural uh -huh. over here. Is that I believe natural hair is a healthier hair and it is unaltered. Although there's such thing as healthy, relaxed hair, uh, I do believe that's still altered hair, chemically altered hair. Re natural hair it is unaltered, untouched, virgin, pure mm. hair. And so that is something that I think is such a pro about being natural is that you see your true, true texture in its purest form, curly, beautiful, and the best. So I think that's a huge pro about being natural. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Um, I also wanted to get back to relax here. <laughs> okay, relax. Just like how I said, time, it takes less time. Also, styling. Styling is a breeze, okay? Styling for relaxed hair, it literally is like, it just, it works. It works. I, do I have to say more? I think it works. My last pro, besides all of that, my last pro for being natural is weather. This is very weird, but like, you know, you were one of those girls, saw it rain, had no umbrella, freaking out, had to go get a grocery bag, put it over your head, and vault to your car. Being natural, water ain't gonna kill you. Being natural, like there's nothing you need to worry about besides your hair getting wet. We, we naturals will run in the rain. We will uh, swim in the rain. We will wade in the rain because rain does nothing but produce more curls for us. Hey, you're right, you're right. Like definitely, I'm sorry, it's a relaxed. No, I don't want to get my hair wet. As long as, I mean, everybody doesn't want to get their hair wet. So like, whatever. Okay, um, but my last thing for relaxed hair is also the weather. Funny. Oh, hey. actually? <laughs> yes, so my hair fights humidity, okay? How long, ooh. <laughs> Can you say shrinkage over here? Shrinkage. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be, be dying. <laughs> okay. You're talking about rain? Let's talk about the sun. How does your hair react to humidity? <laughs> Was that cricket? <laughs> so my number one con for being natural is it's a science experiment. What that means is basically I have to try every product under the sun to figure out if it works for me. Mm. And that is the most annoying thing ever. Con, yes, you said it already. Yes, we are chemically changing our hair. Hate to break it to every relaxed sister out there. Okay, tech slacks, like why? Uh, <laughs> but relaxed hair, like we are chemically changing it. But I think of it as more of like coloring your hair. You know, not killing your hair, but definitely making it weaker. Yeah, you're, you're definitely like breaking down your hair follicles a lot more, but there's nothing against that. Like, like she said earlier, like there is a healthy way to maintain relaxed hair. I mean, look at her hair, luscious. Do you see that? Do you see that wave, girl? <laughs> <laughs> My second con would be it's difficult to manage in style. So natural hair, when you wake up in the morning, that's not a five, 10 minute thing. Mm -hmm. You literally have to sit there and be like, what do I want my hair to look like? I have to set and do all this time to put in to make my hair look like this for the week or like that for the week. Like naturals have to think in advance of what styles they want to put in their hair because our hair is not something that you can just wake up and it be done. Like it's difficult to kind of work together, rodeo it and make it ready for a week and, and get it set up, so. Anyways, <laughs> anyways on that note, let me go. My con of relaxed hair is number two, okay? Number two is, yes, it is thin hair. So with thin hair, you're not gonna have any volume, okay? Obviously, we lack a little something here. New mm. volume. A um, little. <laughs> which is nothing like a good old wig or something would do, but sure. like, if you want to just live in your own relaxed hair, you would literally have to like not use anything heat related. And so I think that's the biggest problem. Like thin hair just equates to just relaxed hair. Third con, um, which she alluded to earlier with her pro was shrinkage. So shrinkage is not our friend. It's not our friend. Shrinkage basically goes from letting you have long luscious locks 
to looking like a seven-year-old boy um, within an instant. So if you like that look, shrinkage is for you. But if you don't like that look, then you know that although you have long hair, your hair doesn't like to show that you have long hair. Like it basically wants to catfish other people <laughs> when you want it to be its true self and you're begging it, please. Oh my God. Please show wow. yourself. And it's saying, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna surprise you later on. You're like, no, I don't want surprises. I just wanna see what I'm getting. Our con for relaxed hair is that it's easier to maintain, but it's really hard to have a healthy regimen, fortunately. Because if you're busy, mm, so the whole point of like for me going relaxed was because I don't have time. So like also I don't have time to maintain it. Cause yeah, I go to a salon and um, well, she's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's expensive. And you know, if you don't have that coin every other day, so you gotta go get your perm. I go like maybe three or four months. Like I try and stretch it out as much as I can, but like, um, but yeah, so you do the perm, then you have to like wash it every like two weeks, but still, it's a lot of money. Like you're putting in dollars, not as much as you guys, but we're putting in coins, you know, to like hard to maintain. Speaking of coins and hard to maintain, that's exactly what my fourth con is money. Like naturals, like it's expensive to be natural. I feel like every product's like $50. It's like crazy crazy amounts and you're wasting that money when you don't know what products work for your hair so mm -hmm. it's a lot of money you're putting in and i don't go to a salon because i'm already spending like hundreds of dollars just on me trying it and me doing my own hair and so imagine if i went to a salon on top of that i'd be broke i'd be living out in a corner <laughs> trying to hustle okay. have some, some <laughs> hair products like Jeez. honestly like it's it's horrible how much how expensive the natural hair industry is and how even though there's tons of us going natural and it's a big thing the more they're making money off of it so it's 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 we can go on a whole tangent myself on that but definitely think that natural hair is, a, is a very very expensive to maintain definitely isn't it just expensive to just be black in general? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, for real though. <laughs> like, I think that just sucks. Like, literally, how much effort we put in to look good. Yeah, black women just in general deal a lot with their hair compared to other ethnicities and cultures. And so I think the black hair industry is just... Profiting. They're profiting. Uh, billions. If you haven't watched it, watch Good Hair. Mm -hmm. um, Chris Rock. I it was Chris Rock, right? I don't know. Anyway. I think it's Chris Hart. <laughs> one of them, <laughs> but it's good hair. If you haven't seen it, um, definitely watch it. Um, I put that, even though we can style our hair, mm -hmm. we can't hold it for too long. <laughs> like what really sucks is that like, I'll put an effort to put some curls in and literally by the time I get out, where's the curls? Nowhere. All the effort I put in, they just, go back to being straight hair. So I find that very annoying. Like I try and like do something new, do something different and I can't hold anything but my straight hair. This kind of wraps up everything. Just being natural is just time consuming. It is literally whole Sunday gone. Um, whatever wash day you have, day is gone. You gotta wash your hair. You gotta try your products. You have to learn your curl type. You gotta learn if you're 4B, 4C. You gotta learn if your hair likes water or maybe too much water if your hair likes this product or that, that product. Um, definitely agree that it's a time consuming process for you. My last thing for relaxed hair overall is that we do get breakage. Like, I think, and it's easier to see it cause you're on straight hair. So like when, when your hair just starts getting like super uneven, like when I used to go to my hairstylist, she would literally just keep it there and I'd be like, no, just cut it off. It's okay. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, but it's growing. Your hair's growing. I'm like, cut it off. But like, it's just like, people are just so obsessed with seeing length rather than healthy hair. Mm -hmm. So I think it just all goes back to like, do you want healthy hair or do you want like your hair to fall out like at the end of the day? And then just, you literally have to do like a huge cut, huge chop 
And so like, I think that, I don't know. Like, I just feel like if you're gonna go like through the process, then you should go it for the right reasons of like healthy hair. Or, you know, I wanna go with this goal of not heat, where I'm doing heat, you know, or something like that. But I just feel like that's like just a big thing that people need to just understand. Yeah, no, that's 100% like healthy. It's all about no matter what you decide to do, whether you want to be natural, whether you want to be relaxed, mm -hmm. like you just got to have a healthy regimen and keep up with it. And you're going to have hair that grows. Like your hair is going to grow. Your hair is going to grow and it's going to be as healthy as the work that you put into it. So right. you just got to be on it. And that's pretty much it. There's YouTube, there's people that you can watch, there's articles, there's movies, like there's no excuses to not have uh, a proper regimen and not have something going for you to learn how to do your hair. Because anybody can learn how to do their hair at this point, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think in 2020, you can pretty much do anything when you're in the pandemic. <laughs> it's your hair and at the end of the day, you gotta make the decisions. Yeah, and so far my decision has been to be natural in her decision has been to be relaxed, yep. but who knows? Maybe I'll one day go to the cream crack side. And maybe, maybe I will go one day to the natural side. Who knows? Wherever the light guides us. <laughs> so, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for coming on, Jen. Appreciate you. You're welcome. <laughs> My little guest star. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.